name is Diana, founder of Body Hoops. And if you're looking for a fun, effective workout to integrate into your busy days, then you're going to want to try Body Hoops. You can try these fun exercises in short 10 minute sessions and you will see results. We'll start out with the basic waist hooping, one foot forward, knees slightly bent, pelvic tilted forward. Wind the body up, give it a nice strong steady spin. Begin to shift your weight forward and back, push forward. Okay, notice that the movement is coming from the center of my body, so the movement is small and efficient. Continue to push from my waist, from the center, the core. When you feel the hoop dropping, push faster. And if you still feel the hoop dropping, bend at the knees and push it up with your hips. Okay, continue to push forward, nice tall posture. Breathe. When you're feeling like you're in a nice steady flow, bring your arm out. Explore the space out to the sides of you. Continue to push from your center. Bring the arms up. Continue to explore the space above you with the arms and out in front. Take the front foot, lift it, send it back. Then we slowly integrate the arms again, out to the sides, up above, and out in front. Okay, take the back foot, lift it, send it forward, while you continue to push from your center. You literally have to separate what's happening with your legs and your midsection. Take the front foot, lift it, send it back, bring it forward. Get the hang of having either foot in front, slowly starting to make this a more cardio activity as we move the arms and the legs more. Arms up and out in front. Shift the leg forward and back. Take it to the back, now the other side. The other leg, lift it, send it back, bring it forward. Keep pushing from the middle of your body, shift your weight while you lift your leg forward and back. Slowly integrate walking forward, one or two steps, as you continue to push from your center. Push, shift the weight, take a few steps, forward and back. Continue to move the arms. You can either play with some dance arms or make it more fitness to target each of the muscle groups. By moving the arms up and out and in front of you, you will experience a more cardio workout. So walking, arms, out to the sides, up above, and out front. Coming back to basic, making it more cardio now as we get into the workout. Step me. Continue to push from your center. Arms again. Okay, so you literally have to separate what's happening with the legs and the midsection as you integrate more footwork into your workout. Push from your center as you step. Integrate the arms. So here we're working the chest a little bit. Shuffle step. Legs apart, together, apart, together. Continue to push. Breathe. And you step. Cross step, bring the foot in front and behind. So playing with some fancy footwork here as you continue to work the core and waist. Looking good. <laughs> Have fun with your arm movements again. Up above. Back to my shuffle step here. Okay, finally, so let's move on down to the hips and the booty. So let the hoop drop and then shift your pushing here at the pelvic muscles. Still working the core, the lower core now. Push here, arms out, 
So it's a completely different movement than we were doing here. Have it go around a few rotations, go back up, push from your center. So you're in control. You decide if you want it here, at the waist, push from your middle, let it drop, push from your hips. So we're working the hips here, pelvic, booty, as it circles this area. Push here, focus your pushing here. You know you've got it if you can put your hands on your waist, but you've also got a lot more space to explore with your upper body. So let's bring the foot back and forward again as you push from your hips and pelvic. Hold it here. Other side, step forward, step back. Get the hang of shifting that foot. Slowly walk forward and back. Hold it at your hips. Have fun with your arms. Bring it up. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Out front, with that, work in the chest and the hips. Woo! Out in front. Nice. All right, so let's bring it back up to the waist. So front hand lift, turn and lift. Bring it up to your palm, pushing your palm now. Integrate the footwork, keep it aerobic. Push from your palm. Keep it up above your head. When your hand gets tired, palms together. Keep stepping. Other side. Okay, again, have fun with your footwork here. While you can do. Palms together. Switch. Palms together. Switch. Palms together. Switch. Okay, so we're going to move into the infinity. Bring the loop down beside you, up and over, down to the opposite side. So each time it comes in front of you, you're crossing it to the other side of your body. Keep the footwork going, keep it aerobic. Okay, so cross the midline. And notice that your arm is making that infinity pattern as you go from one side to the other. So we're targeting the arms, shoulders, double ham. Do everything on both sides a few times. Keep it aerobic. Put some music on, have fun with this. Okay, so let's put the hoop back on. Keep it back, back on the waist. So we're gonna start to move into our cool down session. So just start to slow it down. Practice hooping in the other direction at this point, maybe. Okay, feel it hoop, roll over your back. Pause, send it back the other way. Push forward and back again. Same move. Okay, so feel it roll over your back. Turn towards it, grab it with your hands here, send it the other way. Right here, send it the other way. Pause and push. And then back, same thing. Pause and push. So slowing it down a little bit. Okay, so at first it might feel challenging, but as you continue to practice, moving in both directions, it'll get easier. All right, so find me a couple stretches to end your 10 minute workout. Bring the hoop up here, and front extension, lift through the front as you tilt back, lift, exhale up, over, bend the knees a little bit, and might feel a nice big stretch through the side, and then up, and over, and up. Bring the hoop out in front of you, bend the knees a little bit, slowly come up, round the back, Arch as you come down, round the back, one more time. There we go. It's a 10 minute workout. Try it out, have a lot of fun with it. Try to do that a few times a day, or at least one time a day, and you're going to see some results and you're going to feel great. Okay, so happy hooping. Check us out at bodyhoops.com and hoopinguniversity.com. Thank you.
Thank you.